Come here, Cookie. How you doing? How you doing this morning, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Tiger, Gip, and... Foreigner Joe. Hope all is well. How are we doing? We are doing great. Thank you. An exciting day today. So are you excited to pick up some of the appliances for the kitchen? Yeah, very excited. Yeah, that means we're getting... I have plan mug mug mm. decorate. <laughs> we, have, we have to actually order the appliances now because it could take up to two weeks for them to come in and then the, mm. the architect or the, the home designer, the same person, needs to know the specifications, the sizes and everything of that. So we are going to do that today. Uh, yeah, exciting, huh? Excited. Spend more money. <laughs> Mot Leo. Mot Leo. Yeah, me Mot Leo. Mot Leo. Empty pockets. Stars fall at my feet. Keep me grounded as I reach. Higher than I see. Is there something there for me? So folks also been asking about the other dogs. Many of you know we've taken care of 11 dogs, including Cookie. Uh, at one point in time But most of those the puppies out here have been adopted. There's only one Dog left the mother and one of the puppies and It's a little windy out here, of course, so hopefully you hear me. I didn't put my mic on this my external mic Anyway the lady that sells crabs over here kind of takes care of those two dogs We'll see if they're over here right now. Beautiful day. So these folks that sell the crab over here, the fresh crab, they take care of these dogs and they're kind of part of their family. So we won't take them out of their environment here either. There's one of them. I don't know where the other one is. Hey. Yeah, I don't know where the black one is right now, probably sleeping someplace. Probably sleeping someplace. So I can't show you the black one right now, but these are the folks that take care of it. Sweaty cup. She's around here someplace. <laughs> What beautiful scenery. Anyway, four of the dogs we were taking care of actually belong to Klaus and Doom, and they're back from Sweden, so we're no longer taking care of them. So basically, we feed the two beach dogs still, take care of them, help take care of them. Like I said, the, the lady over there also takes care of them. And of course, we take help take care of Cookie, which when we move in a new house, we will continue to do. That's Cookie right now. Every time I leave the property, she stands there and waits. But any time strangers come on this property, Cookie will start barking. She'll alert everyone in all the cottages and the owner that someone is coming on a property. The owner's also got some cameras up there. But she'll alert that uh, someone is coming on a property, so we all look out, see if it's a delivery guy or whatever. Now, she won't bark for the folks that, that live here because she's used to all of us. It's just anyone new. So we are heading, <laughs> Gift has the SUV already started, get the air condition going. We are gonna head over to Home Pro and meet JJ. Uh, look at some of those appliances, like I said. And yeah, see what we do the rest of the day. <laughs> We're gonna bring you guys along to, to Home Pro, of course. Okay, so JJ is in here helping us pick out the stove, the oven, the hood, mm -hmm. the sink, and what else? The microwave. The microwave. So we are going to get. Uh, we are going to get an Italian brand. This one. Yeah. Okay. This is an Italian brand, so we're going to get everything with the same name, Mex. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Italian brand. Yeah, Italian brand. 
We'll get that. Where's the uh, hood? Let's go see what hood we're getting. This one. Yeah, this one. And you can see the material of. Yeah. This one is a good alloy. material. Yeah. Yes. So this is the. Um, it's the same brand. So we're going to get there. We're getting all of this now because it all has to be installed by the interior designer and fitted just right. And then we are going to go over here. And get the same brand. Was it this one? Oh, here it is, over here. The same brand. This is actually a, a touch screen for the microwave to, to adjust, or a touch to adjust the temperatures and the time, I guess. Yeah, the time. And then we'll have a big enough oven to put a turkey in for Christmas and Thanksgiving. So we are going to get that set right there. And since we are going to have a light granite, the black will look good on a light granite. So what do you think, JJ? Good yeah. choice? Okay, so continuing to work on the wall. Busy, busy. Oh, okay. And they're doing the framing for the sliding glass doors. Also, looks like. Yep. Yeah, for the for the doors. Framing. That'd be one big glass door right there, which is nice. For the views. So this would be the uh, door walking into the house, having a one guest bedroom to the left, one to the right. See Jack and Jill bathroom to the right. Here's the door coming into the one guest bedroom. And we'll see how they do that other door over there, so. I am very fortunate, very blessed again to be able to do this in my lifetime. I truly never thought in my lifetime that I would be able to do this. I came from very humble beginnings. We were poor by all standards, but yeah, I guess this is the result of working hard and saving wisely. I am very fortunate that I was able to eventually find a great job after many years of looking after I got out of the military it took me like six years to land in a job with the Department of Defense that I retired from I rose from the ranks 
from a very low grade to one of the top levels GS-14 in the government so as a Department of Defense employee so yeah I'm very fortunate another thing that gets me on social media again is folks always coming out and saying I've explained it a thousand times but foreigners cannot own land in Thailand which is true to a certain extent but you can secure land in Thailand you can do the lease the use of frog so many other things and and you know folks like to always share the negative but never share the positive most foreigners as far as I know unless you're buying a condo buy land with a foreign partner <laughs> usually in their wife's name or the girlfriend's name or whatever which is usually 50 percent of the relationship if you ask me so um in my case it's with gift <laughs> so it's just not a foreigner buying property or buying land or building a house in thailand it's a partnership with your with your thai wife your thai girlfriend whatever again you'll hear the horror, st horror stories of those relationships that broke up um you know how the wife or the spouse whatever you know if the thai national uh took the other partner for everything yeah i'm sure there's um reasons for that there's always two sides to every story but uh again you have to have trust in your relationship which i do and again I would never spend one penny in Thailand that I can't walk away from. But I'm very confident in my relationship with Gift. So uh, I believe I will be here to I take my last breath. And I will reap the benefits of many years of hard work. So yeah. Seems that no one wants to talk about all of the positive relationships here in Thailand with foreigners and, and their Thai wife, Thai girlfriend or whatever. But I do get many comments from my viewers, been together with their wives, their girlfriends, whatever, 20, 30, even 40 years. Some, some of them own several houses here in Thailand, not just one, but several. And uh, the gentleman that I talked to the other day, I showed that uh, video of his house, his upgrades. I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well he didn't want to be on camera but him and his wife spent together for many 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 years i really don't know how many but a lot because they bought their land in 2004 i believe he said and we are now 2021 so that's what 17 years just with the land who knows how long they've been together prior to that but again i know many many other uh foreigners personally and through a YouTube channel that are either here in, in um, Thailand or in other countries and uh, they are in very happy marriages been together many years so just like anywhere in the world some relationships will work out some relationships won't work out it's just the way it is in life when there's property involved like in the United States you lose a little bit more because Homes cost more in the states. So if the judge decides 50%, you own a $500,000 home, you lost $250,000. That could be go either way. Men get settlements as well as the, 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 the ladies get settlements. And um, if there's kids involved, you're looking at child support for minimum 18 years or less, depending on how old the children are and depending on how many. And of course, alimony. And in the United States, where I'm from, if you don't have a prenup, I was married a few times, I've had a, I had prenup, so I didn't lose it, but a lot of folks in the United States actually lose 50% of their pension, which could be significant, can be a lot. So relationships, divorces, People going to court, losing, is not just <laughs> in Thailand, doesn't just happen in Thailand. in Thailand. What a beautiful view up there. I just, I, I'm so excited as well as gift about uh, seeing this final product. Being able to wake up in the morning, looking out the master bedroom, out, out at the pool and that beautiful mountain over there. And just enjoying life. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Enjoying life. Well, <laughs> Gift is not here to do her crazy dance today. So, 
I will sign off. Thank you again to everyone for joining us on our journey. Truly appreciate it. And until next time, stay safe, stay happy, stay tuned. Bye-bye. Stars fall at my feet Keep me grounded as I reach Higher than I see Is there something there